of the key reasons companies are moving to D365 is the features and functionality that it provides. The unified interface is the first one I'm going to talk about, and this really allows for a clean, easy to use interface. So it's similar and comparable to other products that people are familiar with, like Office, Teams, SharePoint, and applications like Business Central and Finance and Operations as well, if you use those. So gives it a really streamlined, nice user face um, that people are comfortable with and is easy to use. The second one is model-driven apps. So with the Power Platform, which we'll talk a little bit more about later too, came model-driven apps, which really gives you the ability to create a custom interface for any user team or department. So it allows you to really give a user a feeling specifically for them if you want to, or if you don't, you can use some of the out-of-the-box apps that come with the different areas that you purchase. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in that regard to determine, you know, if you want to do a really streamlined user interface for a certain group of people, or if you don't. Um, so that's a really nice feature that comes with the model-driven apps. The Power Platform also provides the capability to track anything relationship management, um, which a lot of times has been referred to as XRM in the past, if you've ever heard that team that term. This means you can track processes outside of the standard sales, service, and marketing arenas that you're probably used to. Um, and we'll talk more about this in a little bit as well. The next one really is the access from any device. So this is a key one, you know, in the day and age that we live, people want to be able to access their application or their system from any device, a mobile device, a tablet, a laptop. So Dynamics 365 gives you the option to use any of those devices. And when you build it out and you configure it, you configure it for all those devices. So it is going to automatically just reflect that interface based off of those devices. So whether it's small or it's on a big screen, right? So, you know, whether you use all those devices or you just prefer one, it really gives you the flexibility to use any one that you want at any time. And marketing would be an additional one. There's a lot of robust marketing capabilities that are allowed with the platform, which gives you the ability to have a full life cycle of the customer journey. And I know some of the people marked this one on our poll as, you know, being able to see the customer journey um, and be able to track that life cycle. So it really gives you the ability to start from a form on your website, you know, go through the lead process, get them to a customer or an order eventually, and be able to track where they came from, how they came through, what were all the steps that they took to get through that process. And then lastly, we'll talk about reporting, which is probably actually one of the more important ones. And it really just comes down to variety and flexibility, again, with your reporting options. So you've got out-of-the-box reports and dashboards, but then you also have Power BI that you can use as well. And so one of the great things about the platform is that you can access reports from within the application, so within Dynamics customer engagement, or you can access your reports or your dashboards or your Power BI from Teams, SharePoint, really any of those applications that you want. So it allows you to decide based on your users and adoption how you want to access that reporting and then use the Dataverse, which again is another plug for Brit in a minute here, to be able to pull all of your data together into those reports, whether it's just customer engagement data or data that comes from another application as well. So it gives you a lot of robust reporting.